And now for a different look at sports. This is Meet the Match, where sports get funny. Good day, everybody. Now we're going to go to uh, Jonathan Wicklow Bobbery with rugby wrap up, everything footy, and more. Matt, they do play rugby here in the United States, right, gentlemen? <laughs> uh, I'm here with the general consul of. Uh, don't ever correct me on camera. Uh, I am with the consul general of New Zealand, uh, Paul Gestro. Paul, can you just say hello to the folks at home? Good evening, everybody, and uh, it's uh, lovely to be here today. It's a great event, and um, I'm enjoying this interview very much. So far, so good. Let's go over to the rugby legend, uh, Mr. Terry Wright. Cut. We're going to cut this right now. <laughs> That's it. You wanted more. Soup to nuts. Your favorite talk show program, rugby, wrap up everything, footy and more. Back to you, Matt. Terry Wright. Terry Wright. Terry, you're an Auckland, huh? Yes. Where would you guess I'm from? Oh, somewhere south of Stewart Island. <laughs> you are you are right on the money, and I'm I'm turning into Austin Powers. Anyway, uh, Terry, uh, your rugby career, a brilliant career, during which uh, the All Blacks were unbeatable. Oh, just about unbeatable. Yeah. How long did you have a string at being unbeatable? Fifty Test matches without getting beaten. Ooh, nice. That's fifty, not fifteen. Fifty. As the Consul General, or General Consul, if you're in France, <laughs> you would have no hard time pitching this rugby here in the United States. Absolutely. I mean, uh, with Terry here today, he should have been on the field, he had his boots on, could have scored three or four tries, as he does. Probably the lightest swinger that New Zealand's ever produced, but um, fast, very, very fast. Speaking of which, the pinup boy that was perhaps your foil in your career, John Kerwin. Uh, <laughs> A few words about John Kerwin. Oh, no, we, I, think, I, think, I think we played off each other well. I fed him a few tries and I um, picked up a few scraps that he fed me. So, uh, symbiotic relationship. Symbiotic relationship, but you're awfully humble here right now. But let's speak freely. We, we won't tell anybody and nobody's going to watch this. Uh, <laughs> what do you really feel about John Kerwin? I'm really sad that no one watches your show, but... Uh, <laughs> JK... They will now. <laughs> no, JK's a great guy, but I mean, you know, he, he, it's good to have a... A, a second lieutenant like that on the field. Your favourite memory on the pitch? Oh, scoring my first try as a seven-year-old. Not an international match, the uh, Wallabies, uh, beating England. Well, beating England's good, actually. It's very good. That's universal, by the way. Yeah, well, it's, it's, a, it's, 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 a, it's a code of conduct in all sports. You must beat England. In fact, you've, you've been seen on camera uh, cheering for China against England. <laughs> Talk about some of the changes you'll make just in international rugby. International rugby? I mean, That's easy for you to say. Can you qualify that? Infractions. We think that there ought to be no infractions. You ought to be able to do what you want. Uh, sorry, you have to start again. Is this, is this, <laughs> is, where are you from again? Sorry. I'm from the South Island, just north on the South <laughs> Island. Yeah. Uh, you've seen a lot of rugby in your day. Have you played any rugby in your day? Uh, yeah, phenomenal. Uh, early days. <clears throat> uh, no shoes. Running on Fosbritton uh, uh, pitches. Outside five three eighths? eighths. Five eighths. Five eighths. Six, Inside. Five eighths. Six. Third centre. Are you, you, are you back in the fractions again, are you? What was your worst injury, General Counsel? Well, I fractioned my arm. <laughs> How many matches uh, were you capped in? Not captain, captain. but capped in. I, I received a cap or I was the... When you received a cap, that, uh, when you received a cap... The instructions yeah. and the, the aftermatch speeches and toasted the, you know... Yes. The team and yes. Thank the ladies for the spread and, yeah, okay. okay. Yes. Yes, okay. Um, what was the question again? <laughs> How many matches did you wear the cap for New Zealand? No, you don't wear the cap. It um, gets in the road. It's not a physical cap. Yeah. It's not a physical cap. <laughs> not a physical cap. Maybe we can arrange for a physical cap. We could do, yeah. Through the Consul General. Should we go and ask them? How many matches were you capped in? Well, <laughs> I was capped in 30 test matches. 30 test matches, which for the folks at home is 30 matches of international play. <laughs> Yet, when we asked you earlier on camera what your most f memorable rugby moment was, was your first match when you were seven. That was the first try. First try. And that's what being a rugby player is all about. It's getting on the board, scoring tries, helping your team win. Well, you scored quite often in your illustrious career, Mr. Wright, and it's a pleasure talking to you and to you, Mr. Council General, Consul General. 
general consul trying not to touch you. There's some hands, hand soap off camera. Do I get a handshake? Oh, no, sorry. Yeah, she... <laughs> There's a handshake. You can use it. It's all good, yep. Oh, yeah. Don't ever touch me. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> One more time. Rugby is the sport that will unite the world. <laughs> Jonathan Wicklow Barbary. Missing Declan Yates. How the hell Barbary? This evening, very much. Rugby wrap up everything, footy and more. Back to meet the Mets. Thanks, Jess. Uh, Jonathan, we'll see you back home. Uh, General Consul, Consul General, and uh, Terry, thank you for your time. Thanks, guys. Good day, everybody.